So here are the easiest ways to improve your style. Now I've made a few videos talking about finding your style and even how to build your wardrobe. But I recently came across the video by Christina Mikis that inspired me to give my perspective on some of the habits to improve your personal style. Now the reason I say habits is because just like any other skill, dressing well is a learned habit. As much as we would like to just buy our way into good style, we can't. Well, not really. There's definitely different levels of dressing, but that's why you see a bunch of people with a ton of money and bad style. With that being said, we're going to get into our first way to improve your style, which is getting dressed. <laughs> Now I know it sounds pretty obvious, but one way to get your repetitions in is getting dressed every day. Like I'm talking about, I want you to put that sh on every day. Whether it's to work, school, going to the store, even if it's just to sit inside your house, I want you to put on a fit. If you're just at the crib and have spare time, just go through your closet and try out combos. You'll progressively start figuring out what you like and what you frequently go to. The next habit that I got for y'all is shop more now this does not necessarily mean buy more i'm not enabling y'all shopping habits because i know y'all got some of them joints but i think shopping browsing and just looking at clothes helps develop your taste it'll get you into the habit of what you like and train your eye to easily identify certain clothing characteristics that you gravitate towards this same habit is what allows people with personal style to literally find cool things in the most hidden spots all because they simply just know what to look for. Now, I follow that up with stop impulse buying. This right here is not only unsustainable financially, but you'll end up with a closet full of clothes you don't really love for real. Like, just by me saying that, you can already see that the result of that is going to be you not feeling good about your closet. Now, I know every now and then you might hit with a good piece every once in a while, but I don't think that it'll be consistent. You're going to go to your closet and feel like you have nothing to wear, which isn't really true. You just bought a bunch of stuff you didn't think through. So now you just stuck with a bunch of pieces that you really only bought because it was 30% off at the Essence sale. You feel me? Now, what I would suggest when shopping online is that you create wish lists. This way you can always come back and filter through ideas you once had. You also might come back across something later on and realize you either don't like it or you love it. Making the buying process 10 times easier. Now following up to that, we got our next tip and that's all about pants. Now this is arguably the most important part of any outfit. Think of pants as like the glue to your outfit because you can have two fire pieces, AKA a top and shoes, but it will not go together without the perfect pair of pants. I think this is often missed because subconsciously, we really only focus on tops and shoes. I mean, one of the most basic tips of matching that we all learned early on was matching our shirt and shoes but pants them joints right there dictate your entire outfit like to give you an example imagine if you had drake and kanye on a song right you'd be like yeah it's kanye and drake but the beat completely ruined it for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But to kind of move on from that, next, we do have footwear. Now, footwear is pretty simple at its base. You can pretty much get away with either a black or white as far as color, but what often gets overlooked is the shape. Now, the main focuses here are slim and bulky. If you have options between those two, you should be able to build any type of outfit that you want. The easiest way to go about this is matching the width of your pants bottoms with your shoes. Now, without getting too technical, if you have a skinny fit pant, you should wear a slim silhouette shoe. And on the opposite side, if you have a wide leg or a flare pant, a bulky shoe would probably match perfect. The next tip that I have is if you're unsure, keep it in archive. This is for all of my declutter people. Now, I'm not enabling hoarders, but when decluttering, if you find something you really like, but you're on the fence, 
I would say just keep it and style it. Now you might not come up with an outfit right there on the spot, but keep it for a little while and revisit it later. Eventually you'll learn if you really need it or not, because you'll either end up styling it or never touching it again over a long span of time. So in other words, that sweater that you've been keeping that you ain't touched in six months to like a year, it's about time to let that joint go, bro. It's had enough. But this should help you avoid the mistake of getting rid of something and either regretting it or having to purchase it again, which I know we've all been in that position. Now, getting towards the end, we have accessories. Now, this is probably one of the most regurgitated broken record tips, but facts is facts. Accessories fill in all the missing gaps in an outfit and also acts as a cherry on top to an already good outfit. So with that being said, your choice of accessories is what adds the most character to your fits. Because if we being honest, most people don't have the same combo of accessories, especially things like jewelry. That's why with certain individuals, no matter what they have on, you're like, oh that's so and so you know what i'm saying because the jewelry is something that you consistently see throughout all of the outfits and speaking of consistency the last tip that i have for y'all is repeat outfits now listen to me i know we live in a social media age where no one wears the same outfit more than once but believe it or not not only is repeating outfits a lot more environmentally ethical but it also allows you to customize potential uniforms which means you will start to tweak your go-to outfits developing a foundation of creativity so if you're one of those people that really like let's say jeans and a t-shirt you'll really be able to sauce out jeans and a t-shirt you might want to add in a black jacket or a denim jacket or a blazer like now you done got so cold at mixing these combos with that one thing now you have a signature look but that's pretty much all the habits and tips that i have for y'all today if you take anything away from this video i would just say that getting dressed is a learn skill and with time and practice anybody can get good at it especially if you keep watching me so make sure you guys go down subscribe to the channel and i'll be back to you guys with more man peace